Hey, what's up guys? Chip Waters here. Today we want to talk about the move command in Blender, which is an interesting command. It's very different from a SketchUp actually in a lot of ways. First, let me talk about the axis. It's down here. You can see in this little corner that we have an uh, X axis, a Y axis, and a, Z, and a Z axis. And the kind of way that I think about this, let me, let me turn on this uh, uh, the screencast keys make sure that uh, you can see what's going on here so the way i think about this is that the green the brightest axis you see is going to be the y-axis that's the green axis right here and then because that's the y-axis going up must be z because in all of the different coordinate systems in 3d i've never seen x go up so it must be z going up and that's exactly what the case is here so if you just keep your eye on that green axis you'll know that Z goes up and X is going to be the red axis. So there we have it. So now you know what the axis are. How you select an object. So if I click on here, you see this yellow outline? That means it's selected. And I've got this little gizmo right here that I can use to move things back and forth on any axis whatsoever. But now how do I, if I click off of it, I can't deselect it. So what's the problem there? Well, we use the A key. So if you tap, if you, if you tap the A key once, it deselects. If you tap it again, it selects. And in fact, if you, uh, let's add a, uh, just a cube, for instance, okay? And so we hit A, and A will select everything. So don't forget, so it selects everything in the scene, and then nothing in the scene. So if I select this, I can click on it, X, delete. So I got rid of that. So anyway, so that's kind of the key there, is that when you, cl when you click on it, you're going to get this little gizmo, and you're going to get the object selected, and when you want to deselect it, don't forget, tap the A key. So there we have it. So one thing I will mention is that in this object menu, we do have a transform menu with a sub menu, grab move, which is a G command, rotates R and scale. But we're, we're focused right now on G. Down here, we have these settings. If I turn this off, I want to turn this off. Now I don't see that. And now, oh, how do I move it? Well, I'll type G key. And now I can move it around. And while I'm moving it, if I hit the X key, it's going to lock it in the X axis. If I hit the Y key, it'll lock it in the Y axis. And if I hit the Z key, of course, it locks it in the Z axis. If I hit the Escape key, it just drops it where it is. So not, nothing got applied. So a lot of people work without the gizmos, and that's how that that's how you would do that using the G key. I'll turn these back on, though, so you can see also, same thing's true here, here, and here. So I'm going to turn off the gizmo again and hit the G key again and now I'm, I'm i'm everywhere moving around if i hold the middle mouse button down and i just go along the 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 y-axis it'll lock there when as soon as i let it go the mouse button's up the middle mouse button's up now i'm locked on this axis that's kind of cool right so i can hit the escape key same thing g if i go along the x-axis lift it up now i'm locked around the x-axis so i've got a very quick shortcut on my mouse to be able to move things around if i just hit the g key same thing with, of course, the Z-axis. Let's talk about snapping to grid. So if I'm moving this, as you can see, it's just moving by itself. If I hold the control key down, now I'm actually snapping to the grid. So that's pretty much the same thing as if I go down here and I have this set to increment and I have this, uh, it doesn't, this doesn't matter yet, but I click on the magnet, right? And that's gonna be the same thing. I'm just snapping to the grid. In fact, if I look up here, you can see that we're going from one grid element to the other. So one of the interesting things about that is that if I hold the control key down now, I'm disabling that snapping mode. So when I don't have the magnet enabled and I hold the control D key down, it will enable snapping mode. And when I do have the magnet enabled and I hold the control key down, it will disable the snapping mode. Let's take a little closer look at this. So as I move this along, I'm not snapping currently. If I hold the control key down, I'm actually now snapping because I let go here. I'm snapping at different increments. I'm not on the grid. I am snapping at the same distances in the grid. What if I want to go back to snapping directly to the grid? That's what this button does right here. I click on this and now when I hold the control key down, I'm actually snapping directly to the grid in, in whatever direction I'm going. So. And, and the thing I might mention is the point that I'm snapping to is the origin, right? The origin of the object, which we haven't talked about yet. But every object has an origin, and we can move that, and we'll talk about that later, how to move that origin. As you're moving this, if you hold the shift key down, you're moving it in much smaller increments. So if you have to do real fine precision moves, 
you can move it and then hold the shift key down whether you're using the G key or using the gizmo the shift key controls it in a much finer way so that's the last thing to talk about with regard to move